Today we're doing some volcano exploring here in the High Sierras at 7,000 feet. Behind me, you can see Mono Lake. <laughs> When I was filming the Mono Lake video, I was sh shooting some scenes from right over there, and we found some obsidian, just little tiny chips of it. And I was like, where the hell did this come from? And I turned behind me, and lo and behold, here was this volcano that I'm sitting on the top of right now. <laughs> and there's just volcanic glass everywhere. It, this volcano, when it was active, blew out large chunks of silica, and it just cooled and deposited all up and down the slopes of this volcano. This one is quite extinct, I assure you. It's not gonna light up, but you can see the caldera in the center of the uh, frame. So we're gonna show you some of that today as we do some uh, rock hounding. And this is the view from the top of the Jeep trail coming up from Mono Lake. You can see the outline of the volcano and the trail goes off to the right of this image and up to the upper rim you see where the tree line is. And it was a bit of a climb. We quickly came into um, packed icy snow halfway up and here you can just see little bits of obsidian all in. I mean the, we didn't put these here this is just bits of obsidian all over. Well, tiny pieces, big pieces, some with occlusions. That's a that's a decent one right there. But the trail was just coated with these patches of just shattered pieces of obsidian. You can see as we walked farther up the trail, you could see the uh, bits of uh, larger pieces of obsidian coating the trail. We see larger and larger pieces as we go up. And I found this whole field almost of just shattered obsidian. And it ran up into this big, big slab of obsidian. You can see the bands between the obsidian and the igneous rock where it cooled in like layers, like a cake. This was the biggest we saw on the uh, trail. And this is another large piece of uh, just obsidian. It looks kind of grayish in the sunlight where it's not polished. But I've got a cell phone there to show you some scale. But that it is, a lot of these pieces, there were just significant pieces of obsidian all over this tiny area of the volcano. Truly remarkable. Lots of uh, opportunities for rock hounding in this area. If you want to learn more about obsidian and uh, volcanoes, uh, just look down in the links below. I'll uh, have a lot of resources there for you to read. And that's it here from the rim of a volcano. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, just leave those uh, down below. And thanks uh, again to all my patrons. Guys, if it weren't for you dudes, it, I wouldn't be doing any of this. So thank you, thank you, thank you for my heart. So until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye.